Hi, so this is a quick video just to talk about um, cleaning gold electrodes. So at Zimmer and Peacock, um, we're quite unusual that we um, screen print and manufacture gold electrodes and um, we actually test them to make sure that um, they're within our performance criteria. You know, both you know, other sensors similar enough within the batch um, and are they giving us, for example, peaks um, in our cycle voltammetry where we would expect them? So we can pass them or we can fail them. So we are definitely doing um, that kind of processes. Now, when you um, manufacture a gold electrode, um, it's fairly pristine at that point. And then with time, gold is really good at absorbing materials um, from the atmosphere. So our advice is actually you have to, um, if you're manufacturing with gold electrodes, or even if you're doing R&D with gold electrodes, you do have to have a cleaning procedure in there. Um, it's not because we're not making the gold electrodes well, but it's by the, or even somebody else's gold electrodes if you're working with other parties. But I we're finding, and I think it's, it's, it's anecdotally known that gold is quite good at absorbing sort of molecules onto its surface. And so even though it might look clean, there's a sort of layer of, um, so I wanna almost say, I'm not sure monoatomic, but monomolecular layer on top of the gold. And you can see it, well, you can see it, you, the effects will be some distortion if you were doing cyclovoltammetry. But um, we're kind of advising clients, you know, that there's, um, there's actually lots of ways of cleaning gold electrodes. And how you clean it sort of really depends on the assay that you're then going to do with it. So we do have some um, articles on cleaning gold electrodes. I mean, it's probably worth saying, I, I, this is maybe one of the more harsh ways of doing it, but... If you have this kind of situation, then we actually put it in one molar HCl for one minute. But for some people, that might be a bit too harsh. Um, but that would definitely um, clean up the gold electrodes. So at Zimmer and Peacock, we do try to make our gold electrodes pristine, and they are. But then they're stored, then they're shipped to you, then maybe you store them. So they could be um, absorbing um, sort of molecules from the, from the atmosphere um, over time and you need to kind of make the gold electrodes pristine. So, so if you're doing manufacturing, have a cleaning step in there. And if you're just doing lab work, have a cleaning step in there. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.